Hey everybody, Mike Gable, Pontoon Hydrofoils with Captain Rand here. We're just trying to show you the Verifoil Offshore Series, just the size of it, and then how it fits into the trailers that you may have. Okay, there's always questions that you guys have of, all right, how does this Offshore Series fit? We're going to just try and show you the ease of doing it, and it's the step-by-step -step versions of what we did. The, if you just remember, if you double the span, you double the lift, and in this case, Captain Randy had a 60 horsepower motor. We needed to get as much span as we could, and you're going to see why. Yeah, here's the boat, and this is the reason why. It had a 60 horsepower motor on a 23 and a half foot boat. This is actually the most aggressive minimum uh, horsepower motor that we've went to. She's a pretty big bone girl, so carrying a lot around around a lot of weight. And this is 23 and a half to 24 feet long. And she started out at 20 miles an hour max, and we took her to 25, and we actually saw a 26 mile per hour. All right, this is a shot of a normal Verifoil. So you can see under a normal Verifoil condition, you would not need to modify your trailer. The reason why is it only goes out to the minimum dimension between your tunes, whereas the Offshore Series extends out further underneath your tunes which gives you the extra span. So under this application, you would not need to modify your trailer. Here's Captain Randy showing you the tools that we did use. Make sure you used all your safety gear in case of you're worried about cutting yourself with a razor knife, but in this case, he used a battery operated circular saw. Uh, we used a hammer staple gun, and we also used a razor blade. So make sure you're wearing your eye gear and your hand gear as needed for safety reasons. Yeah, so Captain Randy's just showing you the span here. If you notice the supports that are underneath the 2x6 bunks, this, per this was a perfect placement for actually cutting. And you can actually see where we laid back the carpet to actually start our cut. So we just cut that with a razor knife, laid it back an inch and a half, two inches, and that was our start. Here's another shot of Captain Randy showing you just where the supports were and where our cuts were going to be on the 2x6 uh, bunk areas. We're cutting the wood only and we're leaving the um, extra two inches of uh, carpet material there. So here's an upward view of what we're talking about. The maximum size there, the maximum exposure of the wood is where we're going to be cutting, not the minimum. So we're going to cut it out as wide as we can there. This is another view of where we're going to be cutting. You can actually see the other side all in one uh, shot here. But keep in mind, you can cut rubber, plastic, any kind of covering that you have on your 2x6s, 2x4s, or 2x8s. We're just showing you that you peel back so you have excess material. You cut up to that, and then you fold it down. All right, here's actually after cutting. In this case, it's the uh, carpet. So we're going to... This is the pre, before we bend the carpet down and put the, and put the hammer staple gun to it, but you can actually put screws to it or nails um, just as long as you get the carpet so that it looks like a professional job over the ends of the two by six in this case. Same thing here, this is the opposite side. You can see where the cut's been done and where the extra material of the carpet is. You know, we're just getting ready for to Lay that back down and go ahead and put the staple gun to it in this case. The old piece is laying there on a trailer, by the way. Yeah, so here's the old piece removed. This is what the cutout actually looks like with the carpet laid down and staple gun taken to it. Um, like I said, you can go ahead and use nails or screws. Just make sure they're stainless steel in case you go into a salt water environment, whatever it may be, staples, um, so that you get a nice, clean, professional uh, job. All right, so right here is another view of what we, we completed. Um, this was all done in about 15 to 20 minutes. It was done at the ramp with the boat in the water. So it's a pretty easy task as long as you have the correct tools takes you actually longer to get the tools out and get them ready. 
um, than to get the job done if you have that battery operated uh, assistance. Same thing here, just another shot. We're not trying to overkill these shots, but you can stop it anywhere you want. If you got any questions, you can give us a call. But we have various shots we're going to show you here so you can uh, pause and, and, and get a, a good relationship of what work was completed. But it's pretty easy. So here's another shot of the same thing, basically. But this one here is a good reference to if you had a tri-tune, right? If you had a tri-tune, None of these bunks would be cut except for the center bunks. So let's say you had center bunks that were underneath the tune. We would cut the same window in both of those center bunks, but we would not touch the outer bunks at all. So for a tri-tune application, it's the center bunk cut, not the outer bunk cut. This is probably the last picture of what you'll see for these cuts, We're just showing you all different angles. Once again, it's done at the ramp. It was raining this day. Conditions were pretty cold. I think it was about 51 degrees. This shows you the length of the trailer, guys. You know, so you can see the cutouts there. This was a large trailer. It's about a 26 foot trailer for about 23 and a half, 24 foot boat. Um, very nice trailer. But one thing we did notice on the longitudinals, you know, the front to back of these two by fours, two by sixes, you want to make sure that they're straight. In this case, you can see the opposite side is not straight in the back two feet there. And so the supports were actually spread down. All you need to do is come back and do a quick repair to those and bend those supports back up so that you're getting total support on the bottom of your tunes. I want to thank you all for watching. If you got any questions, give us a call.